81 and 32 and you submit and there you go you have a set of uh, graph okay on your okay hello my name is Amri today I am proudly announced the launching of our new version of electronic melopodini advanced system and uh, to those who already knew about our system thank you for noticing us all this time but today I will explain the latest and the best yet so far our achievement so maybe some of you still don't know or first time heard about EMAS EMAS basically is a stingless bee management system application that has been developed to assist stingless bee farmers in uh, recording information on the important aspect of stingless beekeeping such as hive health security and high produce on uh, your smart devices but i believe this application is not only limited to stingless bee it can be uh, extended or used for apis bee and so on so uh, the first version we developed was released on uh, Android platform back in 2019 so it has been uh, more than three years down the road of the development uh, so since uh, 2019 we have been working very hard to improve uh, and come out with a new version now uh, we have a website apps okay so and uh, we will soon update uh, our Android apps uh, on Google and uh, for other user than Android can access emas through our website app at uh, emas.mytradeb.com as you can see on the screen so basically how do the hive data are managed through our system there are uh, two type of, of entry modes the first one is from the user or manual mode so basically the user uh, key in all the information or uh, current data of a particular hive uh, into the EMA system and then also the user can uh, uh, check the information and data from time to time whereas the second mode we have also uh, the second uh, other mode so the, the, the second mode the hive data interconnection uh, comes uh, from the users and also from the electronic hardware system so so which is uh, the electronic hardware system which is IoT enabled so IoT data uh, collection involve the use of sensors like uh, weight sensor uh, 
temperature sensor, humidity sensor and so on to track the performance of uh, uh, every hive which connected to the in, to the internet of things so basically the sensor track the status of the IoT network by collecting and transmitting real time data that is stored and retrieve, retrieve at any moment in time but um, at the moment I want to focus uh, basically on the user menu so uh, for, for the second mode the electronic system has uh, uh, enter the last or the final uh, stage of uh, tuning so it will be available soon I, so uh, I will explain and uh, update to you all from uh, uh, when the uh, IOT system is uh, fully uh, stable and can be uh, integrated with uh, the EMA system but but uh, today I will focus on the uh, mode or data manipulation mode from the users so uh, the data group in EMAS there are three uh, group of data the first one is the profile data and the profile data basically uh, is uh, inserted or updated manually by the user and it is a non periodic uh, data group I will explain to you later uh, then we also we have a history data and this is also manual and periodic and there are two sub uh, uh, of history, history data which is hive history and harvest history and the third data group is the IoT data so the IoT data is automated okay, by the hardware system including uh, the, uh, the uh, microcontroller sensors and the interconnection and this data comes in periodic uh, periodic uh, so means that it is uh, come in uh, an accurate interval so I forgot to mention for history data it is manual but is periodic means that uh, the data is inserted by the user okay, in uh, uh, certain period like every uh, 40 days like when the uh, user is uh, harvesting uh, the honey and such so uh, the first data group which is the profile data as I explained it is manual insert by the user uh, and it is non-periodic because this is the type of data which you record at the first place like for example the hive ID species name uh, hive type is uh, uh, done by the system like uh, the hive con uh, condition and then when it is purchased register number okay, humidity temperature co uh, colony progress current weight uh, and other issues and uh, whether the lo location of the hive and also one important aspect of the profile data is the profile picture of your hive this is very important so to quickly identify your hive and it this data okay perhaps only updated uh, occasionally by the user Uh, next we have uh, uh, history data on the data group and, and the data group the first one we have the hive history here 
Uh, so Hive history basically the data that you update from time to time when you do regular inspection okay not harvesting but inspection say like uh, when you uh, to measure the hive weight okay for you, that, uh, you want to know the growth rate of your colony and other data like the temperature humidity and the uh, data can be inserted by clicking the add hive history so and and every time you add a hive history data so the system will automatically uh, update and put the timestamp okay so here the, the uh, every data point will be shown uh, or tabulated on on a, a table Okay, next uh, on the history data, we have harvest history. So this half history are the data that you update from time to time when you do harvesting. So the data like the name of the harvester, the time when you start and then finish uh, the session of, of every harvest, the amount of honey that you collected, and then the, the uh, water content of your honey water content level percentage and also uh, the bee bread if you also in the same time collecting the bee bread and also the temperature and then the humidity during the harvest and the data can be inserted by clicking the add hive harvest button and another uh best feature is that there is an indicator uh, here that count the number of days since you last harvested so this is a good fun uh, functionality that we can have, have so we can quickly know when was the last time we harvest so, so you can uh, manage your harvesting uh, period properly ok on the bottom of each high page there are graph that plot there are graph that plot the main data from the harvest history eh? and uh, like uh, the, the harvest history like the co uh, honey collected the estimated bee breed and the harvest temperature and harvest humidity so uh, every data point uh, apart from being tabulated on a graph it will also shown on a graph uh, uh, tabulated on, on the table sorry on the table here it will also plotted on the graph so you you can have a quick check on the live time harvest performance of your hive okay so it will update it and shown here like after uh, months after years you can see the performance of your hive and uh, so the number of so basically the number of uh, data point for each hive is unlimited for our application uh, and next we go to the demonstration where, where I show you uh, the steps on uh, how to register and how to uh, start uh, doing the entry of the data on a particular hive okay the first thing that you need to do is to uh, go to your browser and then type emas dot mytradebee.com then you can uh, see the front page 
of our EMAS web app application um, so then if you don't have an account yet you need to sign up so you need to sign up click on the button alright so here complete your information ok uh, put your information and then your valid remember uh, must be valid because uh, the authentication uh, uh, email will be sent when you click the sign up button and then uh, your valid phone number and type key in your password Okay, make sure that you have a very strong password <coughs> and then you have to click the agree button to the end user license agreement you feel free to read uh, go through uh, the EU law and then you click sign up ok so the system will know okay, uh, the if there is a number that a uh, phone number that has been registered so it must be unique so, so make sure that you enter uh, your details uh, which uh, using uh, the number that you haven't registered okay so I'm going to enter another entering the password and confirm the password and sign in and check your email okay okay now you got your verification and then you click so your email has been successfully verified ok now <coughs> you can uh, enter and type in your password and sign in right so it's here you can see the layout of the EMAS ok so that that's the main dashboard to give you the summary the number of manual hive and IOT hive uh, so by default free user you can uh, create 5 manual hive I'll talk, I will talk about the subscription later eh? and then this is the total number or total assignment honey for all the hive that you have okay, all the honey that you have collected from time to time and also the bee bread from time to time okay for all harvest and all hive that you have okay uh, so means that the total estimated honey is basically the total harvest estimated harvest uh, honey and then the and then at the bottom here total uh, estimated harvest 
uh, be braid so that's the dashboard <coughs> uh, and I skip the hive okay first and then we go to the main profile okay this is your profile your name your email your phone number and number hive that you have created but uh, for free user we allow you to create five manual hive so after you hit five hive so the system will not allow you to uh, uh, add more hive and we we will create uh, other option of subscription so if you have any suggestion on the sub subscription you can comment leave me us a comment on uh, this video perhaps uh, you can suggest uh, 30 ringgit uh, for 20 hive for instance for example and that's that is just an example but um, the uh, there is no expiry date for, uh, for the subscription okay let's say if, uh, we, uh, if you subscribe uh, uh, you choose a subscription and then the subscription will valid uh, technically forever uh, until uh, our, our organization is still exists lah. okay but you you are allow uh, you, you can only change okay your subscription one time from free to a certain subscription so be careful lah when 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 we uh, provide an option you have to choose very carefully then here in the profile you can uh, select okay pictures uh, well, I, I choose uh, one picture okay, okay and up, update my profile so that's my picture Okay, I can select my profile picture and then here we have our uh, uh, about emas okay and our company names whatsapp you can whatsapp from number emails and our uh, myself and my team and this is the EU lah uh, the same thing that you uh, if you agree Okay, and then and then there's a logout button. Now, come back to okay the hive. Okay, see here, I will show you all the list of hive that you have. Okay, and and then there's another button here, the manual hive that you uh, can add, and IoT, but IoT hive uh, only admin can add. Okay. But uh, for manual hive, you can create. So let's create a hive. Okay, go to the top right here under your profile name and click add hive. Then this is <coughs> basically uh, the first uh, type of data group, which is the profile data. So, uh, so you can select hive image. So this is also important to me. It's very important when you when you choose a hive image. Uh, this um, my suggestion. Um, that uh, you choose uh, you create a collage of your hive. Let for I uh, show you. Okay, like this for example okay later okay it can be very useful for you uh, to identify your have you 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 can collage uh, uh, which combine the, the front the back uh, the side and then the other side of your hive <coughs> so so you so you have uh, you know uh, more profile uh, or or proof to identify your your, your, your hive lah. 
Okay, so see, this is it can be like a feature, not only to help you to identify, but to like, uh, uh to like uh, um, for the purpose of identification. Okay, not not uh, <coughs> not only to like to when you have a lot of hive, you want to choose or you want to uh so make sure that you select the the right hive. So uh, perhaps you can put a number, okay, on your hive uh, for quick identification. Uh, I mean the number on the hive that, that are shown on the picture. Then a uh, hive ID, okay. I I I, I perhaps I put hive zero uh, one, okay. And then register registration number, okay. Some some uh, uh, sometimes you want to create the. Uh, uh, <coughs> a database so you want the selection number for your hive instead of a half id uh, but <coughs> if you <coughs> don't bother about that you just uh, put the same name uh, as the hive id and then this colony species so they have the drop down list uh, of uh, species in in malaysia especially or southeast asia but if you have a different kind of species you can uh, type here okay uh, apart, apart from that you can choose like for example Malaysia is the uh, Trigona Itama is one, one, one of the common and then the colony progress okay uh, like for example uh, super active okay you can put the half condition uh, half condition uh, okay you, you can choose like uh, whether you have a log hive or box hive or you transferred from the bed box or you propagated or trap trap basically the bed box la. you 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 keep it in the uh, uh, bed box <coughs> so let's say let, let's uh, choose a box hive and then the cost um, okay you you know yes you give an estimation la. Uh, in uh, 700 ringgit for example humidity is uh, uh, when you register okay so if you don't put it I think this is still okay and then this is the temperature just yes, estimate and then the the, the hive weight when you uh, first acquire it how much let's say um, uh, 10 kg or 8 kg Okay, any any particular uh, uh, problem, so you can check, so or you can choose, so uh, until you can okay solve the issue. Uh, okay, if you don't have the problem, and then you just uh, you know, and this location is a uh, uh, identify location button. So if you press this button, basically it will fetch uh, the location of your device. It's not very accurate. It depend on the internet. Uh, uh, the look the uh, the um, the nearest registered name on your location. Like if I click, okay, allow, okay. So that's the uh, location, okay. And the purchase date when it is was purchased, okay, or acquired. Okay, just put a date there, okay. And uh, that's a latitude and longitude. Uh, uh, on the fetch location but it's not very accurate if you want to ac accurate more accurate uh, you can go to the google and then type yourself the location and put okay the latitude and long longitude and sometimes maybe you have uh, supplier details if you don't okay you just put none there okay and then we press submit okay right so now we have one hive on our manual hive uh, so if we create new we will add and then we press view okay so you can see back okay your profile here okay there's no problem is that you no, don't don't put uh, the problem see so that's fine lah. there's no no uh, problem issue okay and then that's for the details okay and this is the profile data next uh, we have the high history data so high history data here basically like for example like i explained before 
you want to monitor your hive the colony growth okay yeah uh, you wait okay you do the weighing of your hive okay do, during the inspection uh, every week lah for example so you can add okay so give the humidity during the uh ni and then the temperature and then the current uh, weight okay let like 8.1 let's say okay and then you submit there you go okay you have one entry on your hive history okay and then at the bottom here we have a graph but this graph is plotting the data from the harvest history okay not on the hive history so harvest history uh, okay <coughs> next okay we have our harvest history and then you click on the harvest history okay put on your name okay this is very important okay in the during the traceability you want to know who did the harvesting okay and start time uh, I use the format uh, like for example 10 a.m. 24 hour format and time let's say 10 30 30 minutes and uh, how many honey that you have collected let's say 300 grams okay uh, okay what's the percentage okay just give estimation at like 27 uh, if you have a, a refractometer that's the best so it is very useful to have uh, this uh, data for traceability purposes and then we braid uh, let's say you, you collect around uh, 200 gram at that time they say you, you collect uh, around uh, 200 gram at that time the humidity during uh, the humidity of the atmosphere during uh, uh, your harvest <coughs> okay and put like 80 percent uh, and temperature maybe perhaps 33 degrees celsius and then you press submit there you go Okay, in the harvest history, there's your data entry, and you see there's a data point here. Okay, okay, on the graph, and then we can add more. Okay, but of course, uh, just uh, you don't harvest again immediately, but it's just for purpose of, for the sake of a demonstration. Okay, uh, three hundred. Uh, let's say 200 and and uh, the 20 25 percent and be bread uh, 100 humidity 181 uh, and 32 and you submit and there you go you have a set of uh, graph okay on your graph okay so I think that's all so especially please okay tell me about the uh, basically uh, the subscription uh, process or the subscription idea to me thank you very much